Do you have type 2 diabetes? Has your doctor told you to cut down on fats and eat lots of healthy fruits, vegetables, and whole grains? What if I told you that's a recipe for continued health problems, not only from diabetes, but also from heart disease? I have a better idea when it comes to a healthier diabetes diet. This is Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. Did you know you can completely control your diabetes if you know what to eat? And if you don't follow the dietary advice of your doctor and the American Diabetes Association? In this video, let's talk about what type 2 diabetes is and what diet you should be following to keep your blood sugar within normal ranges without any medication. Type 2 diabetes, also known as insulin resistance, is a condition where your pancreas is probably producing enough insulin, but the cells of the body don't accept the glucose or sugars that the insulin is bringing to them because they are so used to seeing sugar show up, they say, that's enough, I don't want to see any more sugar. In other words, they're resistant to accepting the sugar into the cell. So the sugar remains in your bloodstream and isn't used for energy by the many cells in the body. In fact, the sugar in your bloodstream will cause you health problems. What this really means is you are eating a diet consisting of too much sugar. But wait, before you disagree with me, let's define what I mean by sugar. It may surprise you. Any food that is not an animal product, fat, oil, nut, or butter, has sugar in it. That's right, sugar. It's the same sugar in a Snickers bar. It's called glucose. What I'm really talking about are carbohydrates, all of which break down into glucose. Said another way, every carbohydrate you eat will be broken down into fiber, vitamins, minerals, maybe some fat, and certainly a form of sugar that breaks down into glucose. So our definition of a carbohydrate is any food that is not an animal product, fat, oil, nut, or butter. The key to controlling your blood sugar and forgetting about diabetes is to reduce, I didn't say eliminate, I said reduce the amount of carbohydrates in your diet. Yes, I am talking about Dr. Atkins, the Zone Diet, South Beach Diet, Suzanne Summers, or a basic Mediterranean diet where in that region of the world, the incidence of diabetes and heart disease is much lower than in the United States. You don't necessarily need to be as drastic as Dr. Atkins or completely follow the advice of any of these books. Just cut back on your carbs. You don't need a diet plan, recipes, or exact details about what foods you should eat. It's really this simple. Just cut back on the carbohydrates you're eating and check your blood sugar with a glucose monitor a couple times each day. If you have weight to lose, you'll need to cut back on carbohydrates more than someone who doesn't need to lose weight, and only as long as you are trying to lose the weight. If your blood sugar isn't within normal ranges when you test it, you aren't reducing your carbs enough. Or, if you need to lose weight and you're not, you're still eating too many carbs. It's that simple. This plan differs greatly from the advice you may have heard from your doctor, a registered dietitian, or from the American Diabetes Association. The entire focus of the advice they give to patients diagnosed with any type of diabetes centers around eating only four to six ounces of animal protein each day and minimal fat intake that includes using low fat or non-fat dairy products. With so few calories coming from meats and fats, that leaves you with only one option. The remaining calories each day will come from, you guessed it, carbohydrates. And what do carbs do? They break down into sugar. Remember our definition. Anything that is not a protein, fat, oil, nut, or butter is a carbohydrate and contains glucose, a type of sugar. Yes, the American Diabetes Association recommends you eat whole grains and complex starchier carbohydrates, which break down into sugar more slowly, but they still break down into sugar. The focus is on eliminating fats because there is a misplaced emphasis that fats cause heart disease. They don't. There has never been one study done that has proven that a high-fat, low-carb diet caused heart disease. Only high-fat, high-carb diets cause heart disease. All studies about fats linked to heart disease did not take into account the amount of carbohydrates eaten by the participants because scientists have never been able to wrap their brain around thinking that apples, whole wheat breads, potatoes, or those cute little bugs, bunny carrots, could in any way be linked to heart disease. Well, if you eat too many of them, they can. So if you follow the American Diabetes Association advice of low fat, you will eat more carbs, your blood sugar will remain out of whack, and you will eventually need medication. 
because a high carb diet contributes to heart disease by contributing, by creating actually a, an inflammatory response within the body and arteries. You will get heart disease and need medications for heart disease on top of your diabetes medications. And what is your downside risk to follow my advice? By monitoring your blood sugar and keeping track of your readings as you reduce the amount of carbs you're eating each day, you can determine your own optimal level of carbohydrates based on those readings. If your readings are normal, but you want to lose weight and you aren't, cut your carbs even further. Your blood sugar cannot go out of control on a low carb diet. As part of your plan to reduce carbohydrates from your diet, don't use artificial sweeteners like aspartame, also known as NutraSweet. NutraSweet are those cute little blue packets that they put it in called Equal. No sucralose, also known as Splenda. No saccharin and no acesulfame K, where the K stands for potassium. All of these artificial sweeteners, and especially aspartame, have the unintended consequence of increasing your desire for carbohydrates. So you might not be taking in sugar in your soft drink or putting it in your coffee, but because it increases your desire for carbohydrates, which remember, break down into glucose, you will make up the difference throughout the day by eating more carbs. And that's not to mention the neurotoxicity of these products. That means they're poison to your brain. Controlling type 2 diabetes is well within your power, so apply all the discipline I'm sure you have in other areas of your life to reduce the amount of carbohydrates you're eating and live without diabetes. I'm Dr. David Dolman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. To view more videos about holistic approaches to other chronic health conditions and read my opinionated blog about many health topics in the news, please visit AskTheHolisticDoctor.com.